you're now fucking with the Hello everyone, today is going to be epic because, as you can see, my enduro bike is in the stand here. What on earth's going on? That's not what we agreed. You're getting a bit too big for your boots over there, aren't you? So, what I was going to say is I have some brand new and exotic Halo Gravitas wheels to fit on my enduro bike for a lovely little upgrade and then we're gonna shred it. So we're just gonna get straight in. I'm gonna grab these wheels off, do a bit of magic, hit them on and it's gonna be the best day ever, of course. First things first, get the back wheel off here. Don't need that, do we? Got freshies. Right now we gotta do my favorite bit, which is a little bit of magic. Here we go, fresh Continental Trail King in 2.4. This is gonna go on that wheel like an absolute dreamy glove. Like just fitting so perfectly. Here we go. Oh my gosh, look at that. That is so good, disc is on, single speed conversion. Wow, I like this Gravitas. It's actually super cool, the like, sort of more hidden logo. What do you call that? It's like a subtle, that's it, yeah, subtle. Subtle, mate. Straight in, loving life, fresh back wheel. Yeah, that is like actual dreams. Right, we'll sort that out in a bit. Now it's time to get on to, oh, the front wheel. Okay, we got another Conti Trail King there. And of course, this brand new fresh wheel. So let's give that a bit of magic. Let's give that a bit of magic. That's not happened before. Oh no, please don't be. The wheel's the wrong size. Oh my God. That's my, that's my fault. Why does it have to be so many sizes? Boost, plus, plus, minus, 27.8, 27.5, 650 B, plus this, plus that. That's my fault, I ordered the wrong wheel. Oh my, sorry Halo. Right, so I'm just gonna get all this tightened up so my chain's still working, so at least we can ride today. It what on earth do you think you're doing? That was so hard and unexpected. What, what on earth it got into you today? So I've got these nice new title parts and we're gonna fit some absolute fresh. Porqui. Why in Spanish? Let's fit some fresh title bars and stem that went over my head. You ready? Here we go. Oh my goodness, look at this. These are the brand new Title AH1 bars in 50 mil rise, and I've also got the Title ST1 stem on there. Look at the workmanship on that, absolute beauties. Thank you very much to Title for sending me some parts. I can't wait for a shreddy with these. I also cut the bars down to 750 length so I can spin the bars, do a few tricks on this. Also, fresh pill grips, straight on there, look at that. We've actually only got one color left in the store and that's pink, so if you want some more, let me know and I'll get them all ordered up. We also want to do non-lock-on grips for the jump bike guys, because I think that's going to be awesome. So if you're interested in them, also let me know and we can get all that like going very, very soon. So this bike is ready for a shreddy and it's time to get out of here and do just that, let's. We've just arrived at Worley Bike Park. This place has a huge selection of jumps and fun things to hit with these brand new parts on. Ooh, well those parts look delightful. Let's get straight into this jump line. Here we go then, fresh bars, fresh grips and wheel. Let's try this sick trail. Wow. Oh.
Ooh. Oh my god. Sick. That's incredible. Still going. Wow, Ooh. what a line that was. It's so long actually. I don't think I've ever done it fully top to bottom like that. What a place. We want to have a little session on these jumps now because they're actually really good. I think we can get a flip on this second one because it's quite steep. This one's a bit flat, but you can actually hip it to the right there so we can probably get a bit of steep. So hopefully we can jump in on that first one, get a nice flip and a bit of a sort of kick out on there. So here we go. Here we go into this dreamy line. Let's get a bit more speed up now. Oh my God, completely <laughs> to flat. <laughs> uh, okay, I didn't need as much speed as I thought. I reckon we can get a bit of a trick on that first hip, then a flip, and then big tabes on here. Let's go again. Let's get a bit more tricky with it then. Oh my God, I almost died on the table. <laughs> That's quite hard with the speed to tuck it in, then flip this thing. Cool though. I'm gonna go up again now. I'm gonna race that first hip because it's actually really hard for the speed if you pop for a trick, hence my tuck being like this. Uh, and then I'm gonna go race, flip my hander, and then over rotate a three onto this hip landing here. great stoked on that bikes feeling lovely most importantly is the bars obviously because they've changed these are higher now and a bit thinner so it feels more like a jump bike it's kind of like a slope style bike now obviously without the front brake i will route the cable back through here soon but just didn't get around to it i was too excited let's do another lap through here i'll go good tuck on the first no foot can and then bar spin that hip and then we'll go and find some other stuff here we go, then Louis stood on this landing here. Wow, that line's so fun. It's a bit weird for no foot cans on that lip because there's a bit of a bucky lassock on there. So you go like, whoa, and it kind of, there was a few almost dies on there. But then I got the bar on there, quite good. Although when I did land the no foot cam, my feet were sort of like that. They felt, well, from here, they felt like they were that far forward when I landed. So I was like shuffling like this before I did the bar spin, but it all worked out. What a line, so fun. There's a lot more stuff in here though, and some huge gaps over there. So probably best we check them out. We've now come over to the other side. There's a few bigger, longer lines here with all different sizes of jumps. So we're gonna start on a medium one now and then move over to the biggest one. Here we go. Yo, dreamy. Oh, that is sick. Ew. Oh, so good. One incredible line. That bottom gap's massive as well. But there's an even bigger one just next to it, which is mind blowing. I'm now across at this huge line. There's the lip. There's the landing. It is absolutely massive. It's, it's the biggest jump I've seen. Well, it's the biggest jump in Essex where I'm from, but it's super gnarly. See that? 
massive. And the running's so weird because the jump before it is literally five foot. And then, so if you didn't know, you'd fully, fully have issues dealing with your death. But I'm gonna go flat out and it should be, should be on. Here we go. This is it. Biggest line here. See how it goes. Oh my God, it's massive. Woo! Huge overclear. Woo! Oh my God. That is massive. What on earth sort of jump is that? Whew. Huge. Whoa. Oh my God. Who would build such a thing in a wood? <laughs> it's so big. Look how far that, that takeoff is. And I went deep then. I pedalled way too fast. I must have landed. I'm sure I landed about here. So that's 100 foot maybe. Could even be, could actually be 40, 45. That's really sick. Right, now I know it. Let's montage the full lap clean few little maneuvers and kick outs. Here we go. There we go, that's the most ridiculous local line I've ridden for ages. Huge jumps, full speed, but I want to get Louis involved and there's a really cool looking berm line that goes the whole way down. If you look, zoom down there, look how good them edges look. So cool. So we're going to go up, Louis's on the Ebe, and we're going to follow him down. So get ready for it, Louis. Here we go. Ready then, Louis? Yeah. Come on then, lead on. See what you've got into a chiller line, but still fun. Oh my God, how did you survive that? That was gnarly. Woo, flying. Wow. Oh my god! Whoosh! Oh! <laughs> that was the most ridiculous run I've ever seen. Yeah, Spokes popping. Oh, like literally almost three over the bars, weren't it? In one. Uh, yeah. Wow. Cool. Thanks for that show. Yeah. That was the show I was looking for. <laughs> an epic session bikes are packed on shredding has taken place so hard pumped on the new bars the new rear wheel front one was my mistake didn't know the sizes that's sort of the mountain bikes industry's fault for having so many i mean there's actually only like three so i should have known but anyway what an epic day loads of grip on the rear with the fresh conti not so much on the front because it's not as fresh but still loads hashtag get the grip but on that bombshell of absolute fun excitement huge jumps and a few sketchy moments from louis that is the end of the video i hope you guys enjoyed it that'd be awesome if you leave some comments and be sick if you subscribe see you in the next one to the school. <laughs>